De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. Sick elder from the Council of Elders in Ile Ife knelt down before Queen Naomi held her legs, allegedly begging her for forgiveness because at the end of the day, they told her, they told him that he offended a prophetess, a real woman of God, that if he does not get that woman to forgive him, that Nakpai Levu Nahim in day. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, De La Ram. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the sauce. It's still on the Royals De La Right. How are you guys doing? I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you um, so much. If you're here, you yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead. Hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Report reaching also allegedly is that the sick elder um, who has been looking for Queen Ami since last week to beg. After the brother that came and confessed to the only of Ife what they did to Queen Naomi, that they forcefully pushed her out of the palace, diabolically, that they pushed her to disgrace the only of Ife so that the Ile Ife people would reject her completely. But the way they wanted her to do it was not the way she did it. They wanted it, it wasn't just for her to go and post things on Instagram. They wanted her to like publicly maybe um, offense like publicly slapping the husband and all of those kind of things that was where they were trying to drive her to but as god will have it that did not happen it ended up that she just carried herself and went to go and post those things on instagram but you know a lot of people who are very doubtful are saying that if they pushed her into going to post those things on instagram how come it took her almost a, an entire year for her to bring down that post and they said a lot of people kept telling her to go and bring her that, down that post she refused and it was uh, shortly after the only of affair was about to get married that she went to go and bring down that post you know and a lot of people are saying maybe it's not queen and now me the man um, offended I say, how can you even think that maybe it's not Queen Naomi that the man offended? The man has gone to so many places. They say she offended the prophetess. You think that he himself, who knows the people he has been offending, will not know how to streamline his activity to find out who he offended. If people are talking about the period of time that it took Queen Naomi to go and bring down that post on Instagram, who knows if that whole time she was under their influence, you think that because she's a prophetess, she does not fight. She fights spiritually. She fights a lot. As a matter of fact, she fights more than any other person. They say that for you to be in the palace or be married to Kabiesi, that is not a, it's not an easy thing. You see these women that are there in the palace. You know that what these women fight every day is something that you and I can never tell. You know, every day we come here, you say they are fighting basketballs here and there. Do you know if it's the same people that are pushing them against themselves? How is it possible that you are already um, married, six women are already married to a king, and uh, uh, three of them or the other ones will say the first woman should not come back? Why should the first woman not come back? If you wanted... A, a man who will marry you alone. You will not be married to the owner of Ife. So being married to the owner of Ife means that you agree to be married um, 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 to a, a polygamist. And you, even if the man now decides that he's going to marry more women and come and add on top of your head, you should not have a problem with it because you're already six in that place for crying out loud. So right now, all these women are going through who am, do we know what they are even the attack that these women are going through? Queen Naomi was so, so, so attacked in that palace of the Oni of Ife. You know, when some people talk about this issue, I, 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 I just keep quiet. You see this um, gist I'm giving you people now, where um, we heard that some man has come to confess that they, they were the ones that pushed Queen Naomi. I remember last year, sometime early last year, when Oni was getting married to these women, when we were, you know, um, 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 posting all of some of these stories. I do remember that a long time ago, one woman came to my comment and said that she is very, very sure that they pushed Queen Naomi into going to post those things on Instagram. I, in my mind, I just, I just said, uh, maybe you, I didn't know until one year later, this just is coming out now that they pushed her into carrying that into Instagram, that that was not even what they wanted. They wanted it worse. They wanted it in such a way that the Ife people will completely reject Queen Naomi. They will never want Queen Naomi back into their land. That was what they wanted. 
So it's God that actually helped Queen Naomi. They said a man came to beg, wrote, um, uh, was holding Queen Naomi's leg, begging for forgiveness. And, well, I don't know how Queen Naomi is going to deal with this, but I said, when the person told me, they were begging. So if Queen Naomi forgives or what, of course I'm going to bring it here. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.